Hey guys, got a question from a guy named Alvin. He says, hi Derek, I just started learning about selling on eBay. I've done things like building websites and SEO and Facebook marketing, but I have yet to take eBay serious. What would be the first five things I should focus on as a new eBay seller? Well, Alvin, I'll answer your question. I know I sent you an email back, but I know this is one thing that uh, would help the community. So here is how I would respond to that question. First of all, get to know the process of selling on eBay. If you are new to selling on eBay, it can be a little bit tricky, um, especially when you're starting out. So you definitely need to get to know the process. What I mean by that, learning how to list, the ins and out of listing, how to take good pictures, how to design your your template um, or your 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 listing to basically look professional um, things like that learning how to ship products learning how to respond to messages that's the first one the second one build your feedback this is absolutely critical for anyone who wants to actually build an eBay empire you need to have good feedback and what I mean by good feedback is you need to have not only the little number next to your name be up in the hundreds at least but you also need to have five star ratings as a seller this is very crucial and once you get into it further you can actually charge higher prices than your competition if you are a top rated seller if you are a power seller and the third thing finding solid inventory and find an item that you can sell over and over or find a source of inventory this is something that uh is very crucial to being consistent seller um, and I know in uh, later videos I'll talk about some ways in some places that you can find inventory but the first place to start is your own house so get into your house and start selling things fourth thing I said study and learn how to list everyone who's a top rated seller follows a similar template uh, in their listing they have very specific pictures, very high quality pictures, they have very specific descriptions, measurements. If you're selling clothes, you need to put as many measurements on there as possible. I know this sounds tedious, but this could be the difference between selling a shirt for $10 and selling a shirt for $20. Find somebody on eBay who's selling an item similar to the one you're, you're selling, look at their auction and see how they're setting up their listing and then pull maybe some things that you like about it some things you don't like take a couple different sellers and learn how to design your own listing to make it look professional and make it look like you're about business one thing that I also like to add in all my listings is if you add a little bit of about me or add your story this is a little bit of marketing um, terminology but um, basically I'll, I'll say it an easy way basically people are more attracted to buying if you if they have a connection with you so if somebody connects with your product or your story they're more likely to pay more money now I know this is kind of hard on eBay because most people are shopping for the cheapest deal possible but it is still something that you should do and something that can differentiate you from you know Joe Schmo seller over here you can add a story you can add your personal twist that's something that I think that everyone should do um, to their listings the last thing do everything you can to do to become a power seller and a top rated seller those two things are critical power seller not so much because that's more of a um, I mean, it's a badge, but you don't get as much benefit. But being a top rated seller, you do get final value fee discounts and you do get a little badge next to your name, which is huge in the eBay community. If people see that you're a top rated seller, they're willing to pay more money for your product. I mean, look at it this way you've probably bought something on eBay. If you saw something for $10 or something for $15, but the one from ten dollars was a guy who had ten feedbacks. The one that was for fifteen was a guy with top rated seller status and over a thousand transactions. You probably went for the fifteen dollars just to make sure that your item was just as described. 
it's simple it's basic but it's hard to get to that level and that's what I'm trying to do through these videos so in uh, in the description below I've uh, just want to let you guys know about my ebook um, it's not really an ebook it's more of an email course and it'll come to you in three emails basically you sign up at my website below here and you'll get three it's basically three steps to building your eBay empire and I touch on those two things a little bit so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel we'll be doing a lot of uh, Q&A here and then also go check out that email course until next time send me some questions all right